Hello, in this bunch of specimens I found a blob, a black blob-like creature. Put it in a little tray here that I prepared. Found it at work at the fish plant here in Nova Scotia. Looks like there's two distinct sections to this black blob. Black on one side, looks like brownish color on the other side here. So I'll take a few photographs of it, post them on Facebook. Black blob from off Nova Scotia. And here we have the mysterious black blob creature here. And the further examination is distinct body parts. As you can see, almost like a head and tail. Side. from the top Black blob creature from Nova Scotia, deep sea. So, hello, Derek Jones back here again. I've washed the black blob creature off, and I would say. It Looks like it's got tentacles, you ask me. I'll try to be gentle with it. I might freeze them for preservation temporarily. So I washed him off and... Different shape again. Really strange. I've seen them before, but not this large. Blob creature from Nova Scotia, 500, 600 meters deep. Caught as fishing bycatch. Hello, I'm Derek Jones here. Back here with another deep sea black blob of some kind just like the other specimen it's obviously broken here's another section here segment some kind of a ri ribbon like well, it's coming apart on the end here Really not that much smell to it. No more smell than a fish. Sea jelly or whatever. Strange looking blob here. Deep sea black blob from Nova Scotia. Hake scales on it. We're good at irritable. Silver Hake net. Silver Hake trawler got it from off coast of Nova Scotia. 
and probably at least 500 fathoms deep 500 meters deep excuse me 250 fathoms and tell it was broken like the other species really strange and it has two worms coming out of the side there So, I don't know if that's part of the anatomy or not. Mysterious black blob. Hello, Derek Jones here again. And, listen, six days after I found my first blob, I found five blobs in one day. This one blob. There's two blobs. here temporarily and as you can see each one of them has a mouth opening at both ends where obviously it lies on the ocean bottom filter feeds the seawater through the openings Cold seems to be preserving in hardly any odor whatsoever. Almost none. A little tiny fishy smell. As you can see, there's other crinoid type growth coming from them. That mouth is here. You can open each of these mouths. Inside, no, you can on the but smooth lining inside. Very strange indeed. 
I'm sure they were a colonial tunicate. Like most blobs are colonial. Except for blob fish. This is no fish. It's a genuine deep sea blob. One of seven I found here in Nova Scotia for the last few days. Deep sea blobs from Nova Scotia. I have no experience with them whatsoever. But very unusual, to say the least. centimeters long. As you can see they all have the mouth openings. Smooth lining on the inside. They are torn up by catching Arter Troll, deep sea bottom trolls, or by catching. But some are saying less damage than the others. you know about deep sea blobs. Thank you. And here we have the black blob inside of the, some alcohol. And it really kept its shape. Rubbing alcohol to be exact. really didn't change much by putting it into the rubbing alcohol. No discoloration of the rubbing alcohol. Very little odor besides the rubbing alcohol. the shape quite well. I didn't see any antennae on the small blob that I have here in alcohol. Anyway. Here, almost a week later, after being placed in a jar of uh, rubbing alcohol, they've uh, white spots have appeared in these black blobs tissue. Whether it's eggs or 
whatever, who knows. Yeah, white spots have appeared. I don't think you can see it here. I still don't know what the white, ah, uh, these deep sea black blobs are. Must believe this some kind of tunicate. I'm sure somebody out there knows. Deep sea black blobs from Nova Scotia. That's what I'm going with. Thank you. Some kind of a black blob like creature that I found at work last night. I'm off the coast of Nova Scotia. I have no idea what they are, but this is a fantastic specimen. Shows two different sections join together here obviously different colors they can male and female fuse together maybe who knows <clears throat> so here you go black blob like creature from Nova Scotia We have distinct body parts of this black blob like creature. As you can see, more dissection of the creature whatever it is it's all one creature whatever it is so this creature is taking shape here definitely has a front and back yet still don't have a clue here what it is so I washed the blob creature off and this is what I got distinct tentacles you can imagine Black Bob creature from Nova Scotia. About 500, 600 meters. Obviously something growing out of the side of this black blob. Seems firmly attached. Can't tell if it's something growing. A worm or two worm of some sort or part of its anatomy, just can't tell.
Really strange indeed. Hello, this is Derek Jones with another deep sea black blob creature of some kind. So obviously, I believe it's a head section and the back section there. I don't know what it is. Not all that much smell to it. Doesn't smell no different than a fish, actually. It's like flabs. Flabs of flesh. Really strange. Hello, Derek Jones back here again with more blobs. A few days ago I never heard of a blob. Yesterday I discovered five blobs in one day. I now believe they're colonial tunicates. Tunicates of some kind or another. I have them on the ice to keep them quite well. Very little odor. Very little odor coming from these. Here we have a baby blob. Smaller formation. There you have it. Blobs from Nova Scotia.